Hello and welcome to the Biomechanic Lab at the Institute of Biomechanics of Graz University of Technology. In this lab we investigate the mechanical properties of soft biological tissues we focus on healthy and diseased arteries. The knowledge of these mechanical properties allows together with computer models to improve diagnosis and treatments such as balloon angioplasty with standing but also to optimize implants. In this lab video we show you first the effect of an unhealthy lifestyle and diet, which is high fat, high sugar and high salt, on the appearance of a healthy non-atherosclerotic and a severely atherosclerotic aorta. Second, a biomechanical experiment to test the piece of an aorta and third, another experiment to characterize an entire thoracic aorta and an artificial aortic graft are shown. To visualize the impact of an unhealthy diet, we prepared two aortas, a young healthy porcine aorta and an aged deceased human aorta, which stems from a male 69 years old. The changes in the deceased aortic wall due to atherosclerotic formations are already visible from the outside, the adventitia of the artery. To reveal the inside and the atherosclerotic formations in the intima, we will cut both aortas along the axial direction using a pair of scissors. Cutting of a young and healthy aorta is much easier than cutting a severely sclerotic and partly calcified aorta. The young and healthy porcine aorta reveals a smooth and homogeneous intima layer, whereas the intima of a severely atherosclerotic human aorta is very rough and shows inclusions of more or less pronounced plaques distributed all over the intima. Such plaques are made up of fat, cholesterol, calcium, fibrin, cells, etc. In general, these plaques form over years and can harden the arteries throughout the thickness of the arterial wall. This hardening can be sensed through touching the aortic wall with a pair of tweezers. The young and healthy porcine aorta is very soft, while the deceased aorta is very stiff and brittle, even making a ticking noise. This experiment shows how the biomechanical properties of a rather short piece of an artery can be determined using an extension inflation test. In this test the artery is first axially extended and then inflated to physiological conditions similar to those in our body. Axial pre-stretches range from 5 till 50% depending on the age, while physiological pressures range from 80 to 120 mm of mercury. During this test, the outer diameter, the transmural pressure, the axial force and the axial stretch are continuously recorded. Resulting pressure versus diameter curves are then used to compare the mechanical properties of healthy and diseased arteries. In this last experiment, we will show you how an entire thoracic aorta consisting of the ascending part, the arch and the descending part is biomechanically tested using a so-called mock circulatory loop. A mock circulatory loop is a device consisting of pumps, compliance chambers, pressure and flow sensors to be able to mimic in vitro the cardiovascular circulatory system of a human body. In contrast to the previous test, in this experiment the endiathoracic aorta can mechanically be characterized at physiological, pulsatile blood flow conditions, while the change of the aortic diameter is measured at several positions using a video extensimeter in real time. Moreover, with such setup, we are able to mechanically characterize an aortic graft which is used to replace a diseased portion of the aorta, for example to prevent a thoracic aortic aneurysm from bursting. Here you can see a graft made out of the synthetic polyester material Tacron. These MOOC loop tests allow a direct comparison of the difference in mechanical properties of the natural aortic tissue and the synthetic graft material.